Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jessica and for today's video, I will be reviewing the new CoverGirl Clean Fresh Mascara. So if you want to know my thoughts on this mascara, then just keep on watching. I feel like this review is going to be very different from my other reviews because I'm so used to like doing part of my makeup or doing no part of my makeup and then doing my review on that product and then being like, okay, I'll be right back. Let me go get ready and then I'll come back and give you my final thoughts. But today that's not it because I did all of my makeup and then I did my last step was mascara. So I was basically already ready. So yeah, I'm excited for today's video. So let's get started. Okay, so I was super excited to see this new mascara at Ulta. Seriously, Ulta will always have a special place in my heart because I love that half of the store is like super high-end makeup and then the other half is affordable makeup and so... You know, I went to the affordable aisles and then I saw that CoverGirl came out with a new mascara. I believe this is the Clean Fresh line, which means that it's vegan. And this shade of pink is like my absolute favorite pink color. It's like a cute little baby pink. And so, of course, I had to buy it. Even though my local Ulta doesn't have the friendliest employees, I just love going there. I love looking around for new makeup and just shopping around and like all the girls just like ignore me and ignore everyone else but I was still excited to buy this mascara and then I always get waterproof mascara and then also black so this is extreme black 930 and it says clean fresh mascara volume length and definition and then here on the side it says formulated without parabens, sulfates, talc, and mineral oil. Soft curved brush. And then it says that it is vegan. That's what the packaging looks like. And then here in the back, it also says CoverGirl Clean Fresh Mascara Extreme Black 930. Again, formulated without parabens, sulfates, talc and mineral oil vegan lash loving formula perfectly pairs with the curved brush to find lashes you didn't know you had for a lifted long lash look get magnified lashes for an all day beautiful look fake proof clump proof smudge and wear proof application instructions apply to lashes from root to tip cruelty free vegan suitable for contact lens wearers and sensitive eyes so yeah let's go ahead and give it a try i personally don't believe in spending a lot of money on mascaras like high-end mascaras because honestly i have tried them all and the reason i've tried them all is because in high school especially my junior year which is when i started having a boyfriend i started to wear makeup and i'm not gonna lie i love my sleep and so i wanted to sleep as long as possible and then also i did seminary during high school which means that for an hour before school started i would go to my church and read the scriptures which is like the bible and you know learn about like church history and things like that and like our doctrines for my church and so I would sleep as long as possible and then I would rush to like eat breakfast get ready and like do my makeup so some days when I was like really struggling all I would put on myself would be curling my eyelashes wearing mascara concealer and a lip balm of some sort or like lipstick or just something on my lips and that was it so I think it'll be cool to do like a, how I did my makeup in high school and so I literally tried all mascaras that you can think of since I always love trying new makeup and so I was like a pro on mascaras whether if it was high-end or affordable. So I know not to spend any money on high-end mascaras. I have tried them all and they're not good. Like I feel like drugstore mascaras are even better than high-end mascaras. So save your money and go to the drugstore, go to Ulta on the affordable side of makeup and buy yourself a mascara. Try them all if you have to and then when you find the one you love, stick to that one. 
But anyways, I really wanted to try this one because it's my favorite color, pink. And of course, who doesn't want, you know, clean makeup? And so again, it says CoverGirl Clean Fresh Water Resistant. So let's try it out. Oh, look at the little wand. It's super cute. I'm personally, I'm not a fan of mascaras that have that curve. I prefer a mascara that kind of looks like a bullet that's like fluffy and then curves in evenly so that you can get like the inner corner of your eyelashes. By the way, you guys, I got my eyebrows waxed this week. And I don't know what happened, but for some reason, my eyebrows were so puffy that I just, I could not film. So I wasn't able to be consistent this week, but at least I did upload them once this week. But now that they calmed down finally, I was able to find time to film. And I would like to do a video also of like, my routine before I film a YouTube video because it it's like super hectic and it literally takes me like two to three hours just to prepare to sit down and film because I have to clean this room I have to do my makeup I have to do my hair I have to make sure that like my battery is nice and charged so it's a lot but <laughs> let me know if you guys want to see that video but enough of me you know chit chatting with you guys let me go ahead and see how this mascara goes I'm always curious, how do you guys use this? Like, do you curve it outwards to apply it or do you curve it inwards? Let's try outwards first. Okay, let's try inwards now. Now let me do my lower lashes. Try to put some more product. And I did curl my eyelashes before I did this video. So. Okay, this eye doesn't, doesn't have any mascara on. And then this one does. So if you guys can see any difference, which I cannot. <laughs> So let, let me go ahead and finish the other eye. Do you guys see that difference? So the way I've been applying it is with every stroke I blink. And it really does help to get a little bit more volume. And for the eyelash just stay curly. Let me try the lower lashes and let me get a little bit more product. Let me apply a little bit more to see if it makes a difference. What do you guys think of my eyelashes? <laughs> Um, as far as, okay, so it does say that it gives volume, and I disagree, at least for my eyelashes, it did not give me any volume whatsoever. It says that it links your eyelashes, and I believe so. I do see a big difference. I definitely do see that there are a bit more longer and it is true to color it is very black which I appreciate since my eyelashes are naturally very dark and black and then it says that it gives it definition which I disagree it did not give me any definition but I will say is that they are not clumpy whatsoever like applying mascara it tends to get very clumpy and they tend to stick together and this mascara did not do that for my eyelashes which I really appreciate that I even remember like in high school when girls would put on their mascara or even middle school they would also have like a needle like what you use to like sew your clothes and they would like individually be picking at each eyelashes so to separate them and I was like oh 
that does not look safe to do so don't try that at home but I appreciate a mascara that doesn't clump your eyelashes together and I pretty much lost my curl for my eyelashes but yeah those are my thoughts for this mascara so if you are looking for a mascara that's going to like give you length on your eyelashes and it's going to be vegan and cruelty free waterproof and that it's super dark and black then this is the mascara for you and then come on the packaging is basically to die for it's so stinking cute so I'm obsessed with the color and the packaging of course I mean it's 2021 you would think that like all makeup brands are vegan and cruelty free but you will be shocked that not a lot of them are so it's good to support a brand especially an affordable brand that is cruelty free and vegan so two thumbs up on covergirl for that and will i be repurchasing this mascara no because for me i like mascaras that give me volume and holds my curl and this mascara unfortunately didn't do that but you guys should still check it out because maybe it works for you and maybe it can be a mascara that you are obsessed with and you have to have in your collection so let me know in the comments down below if you have tried this mascara if you love it or your thoughts on it and what your favorite mascara is at the moment or like even like your ride or die mascara I'm curious to know Anyways, please go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit that bell so that you're notified every single time that I upload a new video, and give this video a thumbs up so that I know that you enjoyed it, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone!